Hi guys, welcome back to Pavan Education. So today we are learning about the how to represent root 12 on number line. Let us go to representing root 12 on number line. So first let us draw a number line. So it is the number line. So now mark the arrows. So mark any point. So I will mark this point as 0. So now take a compass. Because the distance between the numbers must be equal. So I taken this length as the 1 unit. So it is 1. It is 2. It is 3. And it is 4. So the left side of 0 is minus 1. So now mark these all points. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and minus 1. So before going to the representing root 12 on number line, first we want to represent root 11. So then only you can go to the representing root 12 on number line. If you don't know how to represent root 11 on number line, I did a video about that. So you can see the link of the video in the description. So first we want to draw a 90 degrees perpendicular. So 90 degrees angle. So, first arc we know that it is 60 degrees, second arc we know that it is 120 degrees. So, if you draw like this, we can get 90 degrees. So, we will join this, we will join this to 3. Now, take the radius as the length of 1 unit. So, here the basis we know that 3 units. So the height will be 1 unit. So this is the length of the 1 unit. So it is 1 unit. So with this point 3 draw an arc. Now join this to 0. So join this to 0. If we join this to 0. We know that the it is 3 units. It is 1 unit and it is root 10. So now we want to represent root 11. So take a compass. So we want to draw a 90 degrees angle perpendicular. So with this first arc we know that 60 degrees. Second arc we know that 120 degrees. So with this point draw an arc. So we can get 90 degrees. So now join this to the, this arc. So we can get 90 degrees. So now take the length of the 1 unit. So here. For representing root 11, we know that the base is root 10. What is the height? We know that it is 1 unit. So take the length of the 1 unit. So with this point, draw an arc. So now join this to 0. So now join this to 0. We can get root 11. So we join this to 0. We know that it is the hypotenuse is root 11. It is 1 unit. The base is root 10. So now we are going to the representation of root 12. So with this point we want to draw a 90 degrees angle. First draw a semicircle. With this point draw an arc. We know that it is 60 degrees. Second arc we know that it is 120 degrees. So with this point draw an arc. So with this point draw an arc. So now join this to here. So we can get 90 degrees. So join this to. So now we know that the base is root 11. So it is 1 unit. So take the length of the 1 unit. So this is the length of the 1 unit. So with this point draw an arc. So now join this to 0. So join this to 0. So we join this to 0. So we know that it is root 12. So we can assume it as triangle A, B and C. So let us take a compass. So the radius must be the length of the AC. So this is the radius. So this is the length of the AC. Now draw an arc with the same radius draw an arc. So this is the point root 12. So mark this point. So we get root 12 on number line. So we know that it is root 12 
on the base is root 11 and the height is 1 unit. So how we prove that it is root 12? So let us go to the proof means we want to check the answer whether it is right or not. So the hypotenuse is root 12 or not. So now draw the same right angle triangle here. So right angle. So let us draw the same right angle triangle here. So it is the right angle triangle which I, which we drawn here. So we know that the A B equals to root 12, B C equals to 1 unit. So we want to find the A C. So we know that root 12 but let us check the answer whether it is right or not. So according to Pythagoras theorem. So we know that A C square equals to A B square plus B C square. So A C square. So if we send square to there it becomes root. So we can write it as A C equals to root of A B square plus B C square. So it is root of A B square plus B C square. So A C is root also we want to check. So root of root 11. So root 11 whole square which is A B means root 11 plus 1 square so here square and the root get cancels so it is root 11 plus 1 so it is root 12 so it is correct so then write ac as root 12 so here we check the answer whether it is right or not so we can write it as ac equals to root 12 in this video we learned about the how to replace a root 12 on number line Thanks for watching, like, share and don't forget to subscribe to Pavan Education.